<laughs> Finally, the guy shows up. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to start preaching. <laughs> the suspense was killing you, wasn't it? Ah, well, welcome, everybody. How's it going? Good. Um, so we're here tonight, we're going to acknowledge uh, an event that forever changed history. Um, and, it, and it's an event that, that holds within it both the greatest tragedy and the greatest victory. And today is the day that we remember the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah. He was the spotless lamb who would be once and for all the sacrifice uh, for the debt that we could never pay and that we owed. And while the events of Good Friday, they're focused on Christ's death, this day is also a day that we reflect on the reality that through Christ, death no longer has any sting. It's a hollow and a fleeting thing. Death has no victory because the victory belongs to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So I just want you all to take a few minutes, uh, you guys in this room, you all upstairs, wherever you are, uh, somewhere on the internet, um, just take these moments uh, and just rest and pray uh, and thank Jesus. Thank him for choosing to endure this hardship so that you could be spared from eternal separation from God. And so that you could be grafted in to the kingdom of heaven. So let's do that right now. Let's take a couple of minutes and let's pray. Oh, Jesus, we, we come before you uh, gathered as one uh, to praise you, to, to worship you, to proclaim that your name is the only name that can save. Uh, Jesus, we thank you that uh, you didn't see your throne in heaven as something to cling to, yet you came to this earth. Uh, while we were still sinners, you died for us on a cross and you paid the debt for our sins. Jesus, we thank you so much for that. And Jesus, we thank you as well that uh, you told your disciples uh, and in doing so told us that when you left, you sent one who is greater than you and that's your spirit. And I thank you that your spirit is alive in us. As we worship this evening, I just pray, Lord, that your spirit would be moving, uh, that we would be brought to a place of deeper understanding and deeper knowing of you, God. Um, that, that we would be uh, just fully, uh, fully devoted, fully committed, um, and, and just fully focused on the cross. 
Jesus, we thank you for all that it means for us. We love you. Family, if you're able, would you please rise to your feet? We're gonna worship together.
Let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Oh, lead us back to you. Yes, Lord, teach us to love mercy. Jesus, we thank you for the mercy that you showed us. You're so worthy of our praise. So come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back to you.
Romans 5, uh, verses 6 through 10, they say, You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we've now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if while we were still God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more having been reconciled shall we be saved through his life?
This is my story. I'll testify that God is good all the time. He saw me and heard my cry. Now I am his. This is my story. I'll testify that God is good all the time. He saw me and heard my cry. Now I am his. And he is mine. before us uh, a communion table and you all up in the loft uh, that's right in front for you as well um, we do communion a little bit different for a good friday service if you've been here before you know but if you haven't um, it's all right out front uh, you're welcome to serve yourself when you feel led uh, you don't all have to come up at once the next few songs will be um, uh, will be nice and quiet where you can reflect and um, and uh, take part in communion but if you know jesus as your lord and your savior uh, you are welcome to uh, partake in communion with us here tonight as we worship. Um, <clears throat> and then also, I just want you all to know, too, as well, we, we did clear a spot in front by the cross here for you. If you would like to just come and pray at any point in the night, you are welcome to do that. As we start communion, I just wanted to just read a little bit from the Last Supper, uh, from the book of Matthew. <clears throat> it says, while they were eating, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to, to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now until the day <clears throat> when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So we're going to continue singing. Please continue to sing with us. Let's praise the Lord. Let's worship him together. But as you feel led, come on up and you can uh, grab the, the matzo and you can grab uh, a cup of juice and you can uh, celebrate communion with the people you're with or with the Lord uh, in this time. The Father's love for us How vast beyond all measure That He should give His only Son To make a wretch's treasure How great the pain of searing loss The Father turns His face away As 
wounds which mar the chosen one. Bring many sons to
start my soul to save my lips shall still repeat Jesus paid it all all to him I owe sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, He washed it white as snow. He washed it white as snow. He washed it white as snow. Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, He washed it white as snow. Sin had left a crimson stain, He washed it white as snow. Oh, the perfect Son of God in all His innocence Here walking in the dirt with you and me He knows what living is He's acquainted with our grief A man of sorrow, son of suffering Oh, blood and tears how can it be there's a god who weeps there's a god who bleeds oh praise the one who would reach for me hallelujah to the son of son distant and removed but you chased us down in merciful pursuit to the
Yes, Lord, you deserve all the glory, all the honor, all the praise tonight. There was a moment when the lights went out When death had claimed its victory The king of love had given up his life The darkest day in history There on a cross they made for sinners For every curse his blood atoned One final breath and it was finished But not the end we could have known For the earth began to shake and the veil was torn what sacrifice was made as the heavens roared oh hail king jesus oh, Jesus, 
seated. Good evening, Whitestone family. What a special night, amen? It's special because we're gathered here tonight to worship, to worship the one we call King Jesus, we just sang about, the one who left his throne in heaven, came to earth humbled himself, and became one of us. We're gathered here tonight to worship the one who went to the cross and gave his life so that we could have life, so that we could be forgiven, so that we could be redeemed. We're gathered here tonight to worship the one who happens to be the King of kings, amen? Amen. The Lord of lords, amen? We call him King Jesus, but we also call him the Lamb of God, the one who took away the sins of the world. And we're here tonight to worship him. That's why we're here. There's no other reason than that. Now, here's the amazing part that we fail to think about. We are but a brief moment in time right here. We're gathered here on Good Friday, 2024, to worship Jesus right here in a little building in Economa. But at this moment, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of other little and big gatherings of men and women, boys and girls, who are gathered together to worship King Jesus as well. We're just a part of one great big body of believers tonight worshiping Jesus. And here's where it gets even more amazing. We're literally joining a thousand generations of worshipers from the past who've done the same thing. We're joining in on the worship of thousands of years before us of those who have gathered to worship Jesus like we're doing tonight. And we're joining in on the future worship of thousands of years after us of people who will gather to worship Jesus. We're joining together with both the past and the future followers of Jesus Jesus, to worship the Lamb of God. Now here's where it gets even more absolutely amazing. We are not only joining with all the past, present, and future human worshipers, we are joining with all the angelic worshipers as well. We're joining in one vast army of worshipers who are worshiping the one who is the highest, the one who is the greatest, the one whose name is above every other name. We're joining in on that tonight. Can you imagine the moment, why still, when all the worshipers of the past and all the worshipers of the present and all the worshipers of the future all join together with the angels in one place, in one moment, and we all worship together? Can you imagine that? That's gonna be heaven, people. That's gonna be heaven. Imagine the roar. Imagine the roar that we make all together as our King of Kings makes his entrance. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that day. But for now, tonight, in this little building in Economy Walk, we're here to worship the Lamb of God. But listen to me, he's not just the Lamb of God. He is the risen Lamb of God. I'm going to say that again. He's not just the Lamb of God. He is the risen Lamb of God. And that's why we worship him, amen? Amen. He's king. 
He's Lord and he's alive. And so if you are someone who has been forgiven because of Jesus, if you are someone who has been redeemed because of Jesus, if you're someone who walks in freedom because of Jesus, and if you're someone who bears the name of Jesus, then I want you to stand up right now. And I want you to join with me in saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Okay, everybody stand to their feet, and I want you to say it with me. You ready? Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Say it again. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Let's join those angels that are flying around God's throne right now saying that very thing. Are you ready? Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and who is to come. That's our Jesus, amen? Amen. And he's alive, amen? And now let's continue to join this great cloud of worshipers and sing from the bottom of our hearts to our King Jesus. We have four more songs. And let's sing so loud that the worshipers of the past hear us. Let's sing so loud that the worshipers of the future hear us. Let's sing so loud that the angels in heaven can hear us. And most importantly, let's sing so loud that Jesus can hear us because that's why we're here tonight, amen? Amen. Let's worship our risen Lord. generations falling down in worship to sing the song of ages to the Lamb and all have gone before us and all who will believe will sing the song of ages to the Lamb your name is the highest your name is the greatest your name stands above them all all thrones and dominions all powers and positions your name stands above them all and the angels cry holy all creation cry It's dead. 
Philippians 2, 6 through 11. Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made a human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God our Father.
darkness into glorious light. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. There to my heart was the blood of light. Glory to His name. Hallelujah. How great the chasm that lay between us how high the mountain i could not climb in desperation i turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night then through the darkness your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Who could imagine? So great a mercy, what heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages, he stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. The King of Kings calls me His own. Beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. Jesus Christ, my living hope. And hallelujah, praise the Lord.
Yes, Jesus, you are our living hope. Jesus, we thank you that uh, in your name, by your name, we are saved in your name alone. Jesus, we owe it all to you. Uh, I pray that our lives would, would reflect that. Uh, I pray that we would live lives that are set free, that are set apart and holy. Uh, Jesus, may we walk in your footsteps by your spirit, led by our rabbi. Lord, we love you so much, and we thank you for um, what this weekend that we're celebrating means, uh, because we know that it's only by you uh, that we've been grafted into the family tree, that we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. What an amazing reality that is. We look forward to Sunday. We look forward to celebrating the truth that we know that you have risen from the dead. And now you are seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven from now until eternity. We thank you that we've had these moments to, to be gathered as a family, to worship you, uh, to proclaim your goodness together, uh, to, to encourage one another in the reality that you are Lord. Uh, and we thank you that we get to do this uh, now and forever. And we thank you for the, the reality that when, when we sing, we join in with all of the generations who've gone before us. Uh, and we join in with all the generations who will go after. And we join in with all the saints in heaven as we cry out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. You're so worthy of our praise. You're so worthy of everything. You're so worthy of our whole lives. So we submit them to you, Lord, and we just pray that you would draw us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, you all, I love you. And I know Luke said we had four more songs to sing, but that was two, and that was it. So. <laughs> but Beck, would you lead us in Amazing Grace? Would you mind doing that? We'll go a cappella. We'll just sing the first verse. Everybody knows it, right? Yes. All right. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but To God be the glory. Amen? Amen. All right, I love you guys. Have a wonderful night.